I came across a niche a few days ago and I'm like, man, I have to create a video on this. I have to share with you guys what it is. And I went to Canva and I found out that it's so simple and we can recreate this without using the elements that Canva already has. And instead you're going to use something else. I also want to share with you an alternative to instead of selling your book on Amazon and doing it through Amazon KDP, there is a better alternative coming up next devotional coloring book for women i want to go ahead and click on my katie spy because i'm like wait a second this is amazing and what i found was this according to my katie spy the popularity there is demand for this type of book the there is revenue potential and of course there's high competition hello you need that you want that there's a market out there for this but that's not the most exciting part of this all I have a couple things that I want to share with you toward the end of the video, but before I do, let's go ahead and go on to Canva. What you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and create a design. I'm going to go ahead and give the, I'm going to post the custom size over here. It's going to be an 8.625 by 11.25. That means that the images that are going to go on the page are going to extend to the edge of the page and you will not have a problem with Amazon KDP when you upload it. So now, instead of going to elements okay you would be let's say for example a lot of people that do coloring books they go to the elements uh option of canva and what they do is they look for coloring pages right or i'm going to show you two things that people already do but you're not going to do that okay this is what people do they grab this and they start adding other elements and creating a coloring page they also do something like let's say flower sketch and then they start, let's say, for example, they choose this one and then they duplicate it and they put it somewhere else. And you can create a coloring page that way um, where you can just grab this and you just duplicate it and you fill the entire page. Right. We are not going to do that in this case. So let's go ahead and delete this. And what you're going to do instead. Quick break. I want to introduce you to my daughter, Nina. Hi and she has a dream and her dream has always been to have a solo piece and this dance season number four 2024 2025 she has the opportunity she's been given the opportunity to be part of three dance pieces and a solo but we need your help and your support to make her dream happen go ahead and click on the link down below so that you can go ahead and support her in her dream so that she can have her solo and be part of those three dance pieces. So thank you so much and... And thank you very much uh, for, for click the down below right now and let's get on to the video. Scroll down to the left hand side and you're going to click on Magic Media. Under Magic Media, you're going to use this AI inside of Canva and you're going to ask it to design a coloring page. Design a coloring page of a woman with long hair let's say okay now we're going to click on enter and see what canva is going to give us what it's going to come up with i thought that this idea was very good because usually a lot of people when they do coloring books there's a lot of ways to go about it and there's a lot of different ai software that you can use that are excellent but i thought man why not take advantage of uh the magic media option and go ahead and create something that way so here you have it this is the first image all you would need to do is just continue to expand this image so that i can fill the entire page and then as you can see here there are other images so let me go ahead and add a page you can continue to use this. For example, let's say you really like this one in particular, right? You see the three dotted lines. You go ahead and click on that and it says generate more like this. So we would click on that and it's going to generate more images that look like that. This is one of the fastest ways that we can go ahead and create a coloring book. And you can do, I mean, you can do many different things. For instance, you can go ahead and go back and you can ask for uh, design a coloring page with peonies, flowers. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. So you can go ahead and, this is just an idea. You can go ahead and go online, Google, and search for 
a list of different flowers and all you have to do is come here and you're going to ask this AI to design, let's say, for example, daisies, design a coloring page of uh, daisy flowers, design a coloring page for another tip, different type of flower. So that's all you have to do to create more and more designs. Let me go ahead and add another page, design a coloring page filled with daisy flowers and let's see what it populates. I really like this feature. I think it's brilliant. It's something that you can use. It could be done fast. It could be done in one day and you can get so creative with this. You're probably going to hear my son laughing in the background. He's my two year old. So there is no way I can tell him to Shh, be quiet. It doesn't work. I've tried it, <laughs> but anywho, I will continue to record. Once you have your, once you have your pages, your coloring pages done, you want to add the meat to this devotional. This is what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and add a page wherever you want. Okay. I'm not doing this in order, by the way, you're going to add a page. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to scroll up under where it says uh, text. Okay. You're going to go ahead and, and you could use the magic, right? Which I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use that. It's pretty cool. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a heading. Okay. And since, since this is a coloring book, what I'm going to do is I am going to make this like the, the title of this devotional day or however you want to do it. I'm going to make it so that it can be colored in. So let's say it's going to say be still. Okay. Be still and no. Okay. Let's go ahead and be still and no. Perfect. So that's going to be the title of this devotional for this devotional. Then in the middle, you want to go ahead and add, okay, the Bible verse. Okay. Psalm 46. All right, we're going to go ahead and just magnify it, change the font perhaps. And then what we're going to do, oh wait, I like a cursive when it comes to like Bible verses and things like that. So we can do something like this. Oh. Or maybe, and then. something like this and then let me choose a color for this maybe like a pink for her, yeah something like that and now we're gonna add the meat now to add some content um, you can do two things you can either you know choose whatever it is you want to write about any any personal struggles um, that you have had with with uh, being still amid uh, struggles, uh, bad situation, marital problems, financial crisis, whatever the case may be, you can go ahead and put that in your devotional. It's your devotional. So, or what you can do is you can go ahead and use. Let me go ahead and add this, this um, the add a little text, add a little bit of a body text. And what we're gonna use, we're gonna use Magic Write. When you click on Magic Write, it asks you to continue writing shorten, rewrite, more fun, more formal, sprinkle fairy dust, change the voice, fix spelling, and custom prompt. This is extremely cool if you need assistance in writing, um, which I use when I'm working with my clients. So for this, I'm not going to go ahead and write a whole paragraph, but we can go ahead and let's say, for example, I say it is tough to remain still and be patient when our life is falling apart. We're going to click on magic, right? Continue writing. And once we click on continue writing, it's going to already automatically write something for us. It is generated with AI. So what I would suggest is that don't just use this content. Okay. Um, I, I especially when it, it's something with uh, like the Bible or something like a devotional, I have a lot of respect for anything that has to do when you are ministering to someone 
in the form of writing because that's what it is. When you're writing a devotional and you're writing the content, you're ministering to someone's life, to someone's heart. So I do advise you guys to just be mindful and not just write anything or any, just think of, think in terms of ministry and purpose. How do you want to help this person? Because the person who is buying this, you need to think about who they are. They're real people. There are real women that actually need help that are struggling with something. So we do have to be mindful of that. Um, I would go ahead and change this, but I, I just want to go ahead and read a little bit of, of um, what this magic ride came up with. So I wrote, it is tough to remain still and be patient when our life is falling apart. But sometimes it is in these moments of chaos that we find our true strength. I mean, what the AI came up with is amazing. The act of pausing, reflecting, and allowing ourselves to process our emotions can be incredibly powerful. So what it came up with is amazing. But um, I, again, please, I would, I would advise for you to really come up with something, especially when it's something biblical or related to the Bible. Um, just come up with something that is more original and it's more human. So this would be your first devotional and you can continue to add more and more pages. You can even do something like where you can, let me go ahead and add a page and we are going to, we can go ahead and go back to the magic media and we are going to ask, uh, to go back and we're going to ask design a sketch of a peony, uh, a peonies bunch. Let's see. Um, and then we can go ahead and whatever image this AI comes up with, we can add that and we can add some text uh, on the page. Oh, I forgot to put design a coloring sketch of peonies bunch. Let's see what it comes up with. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use whatever image the magic media generates. And then we're going to add some text. Let's see what this is looks like okay so we're, we can go ahead and add it here for instance add it to the corner and then we're going to add some text i'm going to go ahead and scroll up click on text add a heading and then again this is a coloring book so we're going to put something like have faith right uh and then we're going to change the font into something like this right and then we're going to click on effects and we're going to make it hollow so that it can be colored in. So those letters can be colored in. So we can go like this. And then obviously you customize it to whatever you want it to look like. Okay. So let me go ahead and click on the grid view. And you can just continue to do this over and over again. And guess what? You have a coloring book. Ideas, the ideas are endless. Just go ahead and use Google, use ChatGPT, different, and, and just start asking different prompts. So what are, what are unique coloring page themes and things like that? But now I want to talk about how you can sell your coloring book. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because a lot of people, you create this, you're like, okay, great. Maritza, you gave me the idea. Wonderful. I'm going to go and create my book. And then you're like, okay. I uploaded it onto Amazon KDP and you're like, uh, I don't have any sales. You have to set up a plan and you need to understand that just because you post a video, it's not going to guarantee a sale. You have to have some consistency. For example, look for three things, a popular sound like a uh, popular uh, uh, song that is trending. Number two, do a video. Don't do a video of you, like your face. No, if it's a coloring book, you're going to want to do a video of you coloring. So you have to put buy a stand and you're going to use your phone and you're going to record three pieces of content where you're coloring. And number three, you're going to add a voice over that video and the voice over can be something like a story a story about something that you learned it could be a story about your childhood it could be a story about what you're going through add that storytelling element and i have seen tons of people be successful doing something like that you don't want to go ahead and spend a whole day working on a 100 page devotional coloring book 
to then pop it up, upload it on Amazon KDP, and then you're waiting, you're sitting around waiting for sales. You don't want to do that. I, I want you to position yourself for success. And one of the best ways that you can do that is by doing the following. Number one, you're going to give away a free printable file of your devotional coloring pages. Okay. It can be a file with 10 pages, 20 pages. It could be a seven day challenge. It could be a 30 day challenge, whatever you want to do. Number two, by you giving away this printable file for free, you're going to be able to gather data. You're going to find out, wow, people are really interested in this or nobody's really downloading this file. You may find that a lot of people are into it and you start receiving a lot of downloads. So you are going to grow your email list. And guess what? Each person that signs up, they download this file is another person. It's like a little community that you're creating and you can reach out at a later time when you do decide to publish the physical file, like the physical book. Okay. And you can reach out to them and say, hey, by the way, you know that downloadable file that you downloaded for free? Well, now we have the full book and it will be released at the end of the month or in, I don't know, whatever date that you come up with. It could be six weeks out. It could be two months out. It could be whatever it is that you feel that you want to go ahead and do. Number three, by giving away something for free, you can rack up some reviews people buy what they see other people buying so you can go ahead and reach out to someone that downloaded your printable file and say hey by the way do you think that you can do a little video or take a picture or do some content and just go ahead and tag me on there and that way you're bringing awareness to your product your printable file and later on to your actual physical devotional coloring book i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do and how you're going to create this file and how people are going to download it. If you've never heard of Stan, you need to listen attentively to the next couple of minutes because Stan, creating a Stan store can really change the game. What is Stan? Stan is the easiest way to make money online off of digital products, online courses, one-on-one -on -one sessions, you name it. What do you do? You sign up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link down below in the description. Once you sign up, you're going to create a store, okay? And in this store, if you see here to the right-hand side, this is where you are going to create your products. In my stand store, we have the, I have a coaching call that you can go ahead and book with me, uh, create a poetry book and publish it on Amazon. That is a, a very fast and short online course that you can go ahead and take and you can do this in one day. And then a personalized book design tutorial where I create a tutorial based on whatever book idea you have and I teach you how to execute it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and scroll down. You're going to be able, when you create your store, you're not going to have any products. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on add a product on the bottom. Here you have options, okay? You have the options of a digital product, which is a PDF, a guide, a template, an ebook, you name it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You want to go ahead and sell a digital product that people can go ahead and download where it says pick a style. It's exactly how it's going to appear when someone clicks on your stand store and it's going to look like this or like this. If you see on the right hand side, it's going to change or like this. And it's going to, you're going to be able to provide a preview. Now, here you select an image. You can go ahead and choose any image that you'd like. You can create an image on Canva and go ahead and upload it here. Number three says digital download. Um, or you can uh, you can go ahead and put here. This is where you're going to put printable, printable download. And here it says we will deliver the file right into your inbox. You can leave it at that. Download now. Perfect. Now you're going to click on checkout page. Here, number one, again, you select an image and then you scroll down and then you have to write a description. Get my blank now. Here uh, on this, you can write get my printable file. Now get your coloring pages now, whatever you want to go ahead and, and title your description. 
in the description body you're gonna go ahead if you if it's a challenge you're gonna write about the challenge what is this challenge how many days what are we doing what are we posting and you can just go ahead and customize it to whatever it is that you are whatever you've created and then it says get my guide in this case you would write uh, get my coloring pages or get your coloring pages whatever you want to put uh, the call to action in, in this where it says purchase you can go ahead it doesn't have to say purchase you can go ahead and change that and put buy now whatever you want but I would definitely leave it as purchase Okay, where it says set price, you can go ahead and set the price here. And if you want to go ahead and offer a discount, you can. Let's see, you'll be able to see here to the right hand side where it says that like it used to be $9.99 and now it's $5.99. Then that's that. Then on the bottom, it says where well, you collect information. This is their name and the email field. And this is where you can collect emails, right? And then here it says upload your digital file. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and just download any digital file. And then here on the last, because there's three parts, the thumbnail, the checkout page, and the options. Options are what? You can go ahead and add some reviews. This is where you add the reviews um, of people that maybe it could be friends, it could be family, it could be just people online. So you can start adding the reviews here as you start racking them and they will appear on the actual checkout page so that those who are interested in this printable, they get to see the reviews and they're like, okay, you know, other people are downloading this and they're liking this and I want it, I want it too. So this is, for example, this is if you want to sell. So you could see how you could sell. It says $5.99. This is when you're selling. And you're thinking, wait a second, Maritza, I, th I, thought, I thought we were going to make this free. Yes, we're going to make it free. How do we make it free? Just go back to the set price, okay? And what you're going to do is you're just going to put zero. And you're going to notice that once you put zero on the right-hand side, it says free. So now you have created a free digital product. If you want to know more about Stan, go ahead and watch this video and this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. God bless.